where are you? How do you know that you are you? These are complex questions that humans can address, but can animals do the same? On this episode of Obehave, we're going to look at how you test self-awareness in animals. And to do this, we're going to enlist the help of a team of elephants and an elephant-sized mirror. My name is Elise. This is Obehave, a new YouTube series by Think Elephants International. Out here in Northern Thailand, we conduct research to learn more about Asian elephant intelligence and behavior. Today we want to look at how elephants have passed a test indicating that they can recognize their own reflection. Now you may take for granted that when you look at yourself in the mirror, you understand that that beautiful face looking back is your own. But are we alone in this ability? As it turns out, only eight species on the planet can demonstrate this self-recognition. Those include all the great apes, which are humans, chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, and orangutans. Also, dolphins, and a bird called the magpie. And the elephants made the cut as well. So what actually happens when you place an animal in front of a mirror? Dr. Josh Plotnick and his colleagues demonstrated that elephants, when exposed to a mirror over a period of time, go through a number of different changes in their behavior, as scientists have shown in those other species. The first of these stages is called social behavior. The first stage is social. The animal sees its reflection and simply sees a stranger. Your dogs and cats will do this and sometimes act aggressively towards the image or will be uninterested altogether, but will never move beyond this stage. However, it's vital and initial to understanding your reflection. Stage two, test behavior. Now, the animal begins to learn to test its reflection. In other words, why is that animal doing the same thing that I'm doing? Elephants and other animals in this stage will begin to test the physical mirror and also their reflection. By moving their trunk and body in novel directions or repetitively moving themselves in and out of mirror view, elephants can learn that the reflection creates a mirror image. Now we're moving on to stage three, self-directed behavior. This is where we start to see some really cool behavior. At some point, the animal recognizes the mirror reflection as themselves. They start using the mirror to investigate parts of their body they've never seen before, or their faces in ways that may seem familiar to anyone that uses a mirror in the morning to check themselves out. What would you do if you had never seen your own reflection before? What would you inspect first? Chimps groom, magpies preen, but what do elephants do? As it turns out, the elephants really like to look inside their own mouths and check out how their trunks move. And the males, they're pretty impressed with their tusks. Final stage, the mark test. All of these behaviors certainly seem to demonstrate that the elephants understand what they're looking at. But how can we test this in a more concrete way? Well, back in 1970, Gordon Gallup, a chimpanzee researcher, was the first to come up with an answer. Gallup's solution? The mark test. In this test, the scientist places a visible mark on an animal's body at a location they can only see in the reflection of a mirror. If the animal approaches the reflection and touches the mark on the mirror image, in other words, on the mirror animal, this may mean they are confused about what's going on. But if they use the mirror to investigate and potentially wipe away the mark on themselves, they are clearly demonstrating that they understand the mirror image is a reflection of self. The mirror self-recognition task is a way to test for self-awareness in animals. A sense of self relates to what you know about yourself and others, and what makes you, well, you, both physically and mentally. The capacity for self-awareness in the animal kingdom is rare, but even more interesting may be an animal's ability to feel or empathize with others. Why would this have evolved? Well, the way that we interact in social groups affects our ability to know ourselves and to know the individuals we interact with. So in a way, many of these social and intelligent behaviors like complex cooperation and consolation seen in families or amongst friends have roots in your understanding of your mirror reflection. As first demonstrated when a two-year-old child looks at herself in the mirror and proclaims, hey, that's me. We ultimately want to contribute to the overall knowledge of elephants. 
The mirror test makes us think about them in a way that makes us realize maybe they're not so different from us after all. If more people know about their amazing abilities, the more willing they may be to help contribute to their conservation. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll keep you updated on any of our latest videos. And behave yourself. Thank you.